this is like sitting out in your backyard having a bonfire watching the iron golems burn and looking at the stars yes it's very relaxing watching them die oh there one goes oh yes the oh. warmth of the dying iron golem look at the stars i think i can see the big dipper <laughs> Dudes, what's up? Welcome back to How to Minecraft with Dusty and Dad. Hello, this is Dusty Dad here, just hanging out with Dusty Dude. What's good, dude? I'm, I'm really excited for this episode, Dad. You know what we're doing? Uh, Yeah, what are we doing? We're going to the nether. We're going yay. to the nether, yay. yay. Well, I don't know if we should be saying yay. We should be saying, ah. It's oh, a no. scary place. Very scary. Lots of lava and monsters. And we'll get into all that. I think that the, the things that we need to actually get started are some obsidian, a flint and steel, and then we need to be prepared to fight and protect ourselves from all the monsters and dangers that are in the nether. So why don't we just go ahead and get at least, uh, I think we need like 12 pieces of obsidian. We need to make a flint and steel. We need to make sure we got some good armor and a shield and uh, not bring too much stuff with us besides food and torches, maybe some uh, pieces of planks or uh, or even cobblestone so that we can kind of guide our way through the nether. But uh, we'll get all that prepared and then we'll come back and then we'll go explore the nether. Okay, I think we have everything we need to go into the nether. I brought two building blocks, two stacks of building blocks. Uh, the obsidian we need to actually make a nether portal. Nether portal is what's gonna get us there into the nether dimension. Well, there's three dimensions in Minecraft. There's the overworld, the nether, and the end. Um, we have some food, we have a shield, we have good gear, and we have some torches and a crafting table just in case we need it. So I think we're all ready to go. Yeehaw. Okay, so we're gonna wanna build this uh, somewhere that's kind of away from the base just cause it can get noisy and there's also mobs that come through it. So we'll, we'll see all that as the time comes. But for now, let's just pick a little area off to the side, maybe in the side of this mountain where we can build this nether portal. So what we need to do to make this nether portal is do four across and then you come up one, two, three, four. And then on the fourth one, you're gonna come off to the side. And then you're also gonna have to bring up this side as well with the obsidian. So it's 14 pieces of obsidian. And then once you have this made, you just light it with the flint and steel and then this is the scary part you go into this portal isn't that cool it's just like a purple portal it pulls you into a completely different dimension into the nether so that was a really fast load time actually uh normally it takes a little bit longer to load this is a pretty normal pretty typical nether generation so this is a nether wasteland there's a bunch of different uh, biomes in the nether now in 1.16 and above so this is the normal nether wastelands this was the type of uh, nether that was around uh that has been around for a long time i actually do think i need a piece of gold on me so dad can you trade me your boots because there's mobs here they're called piglins that will actually attack you unless you're wearing a gold piece of armor and if I mine that gold, that will also upset them. Um, if you throw gold at them, it will distract them. So let's just go around and kind of uh, explore the nether a little bit once I get this uh, these gold boots on. So there's a lot to take in as we first come in. This right here is quartz. Uh, this is very useful resource, uh, especially in automation or in redstone components, stuff like that. Yeah, that's gold right there. So we're just gonna get little gold nuggets from that. This right here is glowstone, which all of this kind of breaks down into smaller parts. Um, but then you can put, I think it's four glowstone together and get an actual block of glowstone out of this stuff. So here, right here is a piglin. These are the guys that are gonna get mad at you if you open a chest um, or you start mining gold around them. They're gonna get mad at you and try to attack you. These right here are zombified piglins. They're more passive. They won't really attack you unless you attack them first. But if you attack one of them, they're all gonna hoard up on you and all come in here and try and attack you. Now there's certain things that we wanna look for. Well, first of all, we need to make sure that we take down our coordinates at the portal because it's really easy to get lost in the nether. So just press F3, jot down your coordinates, or if you're playing along with us and have the same mods, what I'm gonna do, or I guess it's already there. Um, as you can see on the mini map right here, you can see that our home is already marked on the mini map. 
Um, but yeah, you can add a new one by pressing N and then you can just mark where you're at right now, mark it in the overworld and the end and just mark it as uh, another portal or something along those lines. So you know exactly how to get back after you're done exploring out here. So I guess we just start exploring and there's certain things we're looking for. I'm looking for a structure called a uh, nether fortress because that's going to help us in our progression of the game. There's going to be special mobs that only spawn there that are going to be super important to us in this game. And you got to be careful in the nether because all of a sudden there will be a huge ravine just like this. And if you're not careful, you'll fall down there and fall to your death. And it'll be really hard to go down there and get all of your stuff again. Oh, what's that blue stuff? So that is a warped forest. That's one of the new biomes in 1.17. And uh, it's really cool because you get this new type of wood. That's like a blue wood, uh, this stuff right here, which is called warp stem. And then you also get this cool um, mushroom light or shroom light. Uh, and this is another light source block, just like the glowstone. This is some of my favorite wood types. It has these cool veins in it and it breaks down into blue planks when you break it down. So it's really cool. Oh, this stuff right here is called blackstone. You can only really get this in the <laughs> nether. <laughs> you almost fall in the lava. Yes, I did. Oh my gosh. Yeah, you got to be really careful in the nether. Uh, but yeah, this stuff only generates really in the nether uh, or in the there's some uh, random portals that generate in the overworld now. Uh, so you can also get some blackstone there. This is basalt. Basalt is also a really cool gray block. So it's really cool in some builds. We're also getting some magma. There's a lot of new stuff that we're discovering here. I kind of want to stay focused and not get distracted by all of this and uh, keep trying to find a, uh, another fortress there's also endermen in the end here as you can see right there just make sure you don't look them in the face otherwise you're gonna get into a little uh, debacle with him so dad just asked how i was putting flames out and if you come across flames like this you can just punch them and put them out he also said he wished he brought a water bucket uh which reminds me that if you have a water bucket and you try and use it in the nether uh, nothing will happen. It'll just make a sizzling noise because the nether is supposed to be a really hot climate, a really hot area so that you can't ever really have water in the nether. And all of that is just uh, part of Minecraft developers making the nether a really dangerous and scary place to be in and explore. So I just wanted to show you guys, if you mine the gold, it's going to upset the piglins. As you can see, this guy right here is now mad and he's shooting his crossbow at me. He also called in his friends and his friends are going to come over and start shooting his crossbow at me at well, as well. And that's the same thing that happens if you're not wearing gold armor. You're going to upset all the piglins. Um, it looks like those guys were too far away. You can even see them on my mini map to lock on to me. The, the zombified piglins will not back up the piglins if they start attacking you. Uh, the zombified piglins only back up each other. Same with the piglins. So if you're going to mine gold in the nether, you have to be really careful about it and make sure none of those guys are around. Wow, that looks cool. Yeah, so this is a crimson forest. So it's kind of like the warp forest, um, but it is the crimson forest. And this has a similar wood type to the warp stems and this is they have crimson stems it's like the red uh variation of the other type of wood and then this one will break down into these uh red looking planks here i'll show you guys what these blue planks look like they look just like that really cool great addition to the game in my opinion okay so we've traveled a long way as you can see on the uh right below my mini map we're, we're a long ways away from where we started we've been exploring and looking and we came out here this is a soul sand valley by the way there's lots of uh bone blocks we can get bone meal from those and look at right there that is the sign of what we're looking for right there that is nether brick and that is another fortress now we just have to get over there safely wow that looks really cool yeah so all, all the white stuff that's sticking out of uh this uh soul sand and soul soil this right here is soul soil i think <laughs> my inventory's full yeah soul soil and then the other stuff is soul sand this stuff right here is soul sand oh no and that that is a ghast dad don't get hit by that guy so this is a ghast this is a big dad run dad you're getting hit <laughs> this is a gas. This is the big scary mobs that are in the nether. These guys just float around and they uh, shoot they, they shoot fireballs at you and blow you up. We're on a server so we turned off gas griefing so they're not going to blow up anything for us. But they will shoot you and they will kill you. But yeah, these are bone blocks and the stuff up there. Do you see the red kind of pillars going up off in the distance to the west of us, dad? 
Um, There's a skeleton right by it. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. That is the uh, nether brick that I'm talking about. And that's the nether fortress that we need to get to. So we just need to get over there somehow. Oh, look at this nice stairwell dusty dude's building for me. Yep, just for you. That's also so we can get back up. <laughs> but <laughs> let's get over here, dude. We're so close. Oh, there's blue fire, too. If you put fire on soul soil, it'll turn blue like that. And the blue fire nice. actually hurts you more than the normal fire. Oh, look at this. There's a perfect shoot that just goes straight up. All right, I'll see you later, Dad. Oh, we're going to mine that? <laughs> no, we're, we're trying to come up here into this fortress. Oh. So I just found, I don't know why there was a block missing right there. Oh, oh my gosh, no. Oh no, dad, there's, no, dad. No. Hey, I see all your stuff down here. Oh my gosh, can you please pick that up? I'm gonna have to make the mission back, dude. It took us like <laughs> oh. 40 minutes to get out there. You want me to pick up everything? Dad, no, just don't let those skeletons, don't let the skeleton see you, please. Just stay alive. Well, I'll make they, new stuff. I'll make new they, stuff. It's fine. If they see me, they'll... I'll die? Dad, maybe just go back the way we came so that you're not loading in the stuff anymore. And then I'll be able to get it. Alright, so I just I just ran back here. I made some new gear and ran back. And uh, I want to try and recover my stuff. I don't have any blocks. Dad, do you have any building blocks? Alright, let's go. Let's go try and get in and get my stuff. I don't know how likely that's going to be. Also, these... These uh, these are Blaze right here. These guys, they have ranged attacks. So I just took him out. Oh, I got a Blaze Rod, which is really good. That's one of the things we actually want to get from the Nether. I'm really scared about uh, these guys that are going to be up here. Uh, the Weather Skeletons. Oh my gosh, there's a lot of them in this fortress. I just actually looked at my mini map. Oh so no. This guy is actually wearing my armor, so I want to just hit him. I just died. How, where did you, where did, where did you, where do you come from? He came from nowhere. All right, let me just kill this guy and get my stuff back. It looks like some of my stuff just despawned, which is really tragic. Should I respawn? Yeah, um, I see all my dad's stuff down there. I can get my dad's stuff. I'll be able to handle this guy. Oh, this is so stressful. Dad, both of us just died. Oh my God. You died I again? Lost, no, no, no. I lost all my stuff though. Yeah, I had to remake some. All right, so I took out the Wither Skeleton. I'm going to get all of your stuff without getting uh, hit by this gas right here. Maybe I just make a wall so the gas can't see me. Yeah, so I have a little barrier. I have enough room to pick up all my dad's stuff, so let me just go and pick all of it up real quick. Okay, so I just got all my dad's stuff. Both of us died, so <laughs> I have a full inventory of all of our stuff. Um, I'm going to try and help my dad get back here. He might get lost along the way, so I'm going to have to try and help navigate him but we'll, we'll get him back here and then we'll go explore uh this fortress some more but yeah just keep in mind this place is dangerous and it's scary and it took us like 40 minutes to find this place and get out here so i'm just gonna make myself a little box and try and talk my dad uh back into how to get actually over here again okay so i think dad is almost back he said he was super close well what did i just do the shield in there let me put that there okay cool he's almost back okay i see you on the bridge dude <laughs> God, that was a long track. <laughs> Dude, this is, it's so far from our, from our nether portal. Can't okay. we sleep down here? We can't sleep down here, can we? No, beds explode in the nether. Oh. oh, I forgot to mention that. Oh, you know what? I have a bed on me. Let me just show people real quick what happens. This is what happens when you try and sleep in the nether. Oh! oh! Dad, where are you? I'm right here. I'm safe. Oh, okay, okay. I thought uh, I thought you screamed. I did. <laughs> yeah, that was gnarly. Okay, let's get inside of here. I'm scared, dude. Another scare. Let's never come back here. Oh my god. Oh my gosh. All right, let me give you all your stuff back. Oh, this is scary. Let's go up right here. Uh, pillar up on this block right there, with whatever block you have. Oh my gosh. Wait, stay there. Stay there. All right, let's go. Let's go. <laughs> oh, we're in! I do not feel safe whatsoever. Oh, let's see if we can, uh, see if we can kill this ghast. Oh! Yeah, if you hit their fireballs, you can return them. So I want to see if I can throw them back at him. 
That was weird. That was a weird visual glitch where the fire oh, wasn't. Oh, there. I can kind of see him. Oh, I'm gonna here. die! I'm gonna die! Oh my gosh, it's right above us, and there's wither skeletons. And there's freaking blaze shooting at me. Oh my gosh. My dad, we gotta make a run for it. You ready? Come here. Come where, here. where are we going? Just just follow me. Hurry, hurry, quick, come on. This way, this way. Run. Oh, dude, there's a dad, run the other. Yeah, keep running, dad. No, dad. Oh, oh my god. Oh, we're safe. We're safe. We're safe. Stay back here. Stay in the corner. Oh my gosh, look at that guy. Oh, no. Kill oh, him. dad, I'm so scared. Here, wait, hold up. I'm, I'm eating. I'm eating. Oh, no, the blazer are shooting at us now. Okay. Oh my gosh. I think we're safe. Dude, this is intense. Oh, I got him. Oh my gosh. That was so <laughs> intense, bro. <laughs> it was. That was awesome. Oh my gosh. What's our objective? What are, what are we looking for here? I think we're trying to get blaze rods from the blaze and I already have one. We should at least get two. Uh, Cause then we can start making potions. Oh, okay. Okay, look at the, I, we got these, we got these guys too. So we can kill them. And it's easy if you make like these little pillars above, these guys won't be able to get you because they're three blocks high while we're at uh, two, so we can just go right under those. Dude, this is so intense. Yeah, I got him! Oh, we got the achievement for it. Oh, that's awesome. Oh, dude, I'm getting, I'm getting, no, no! Come over here. No, dude, I'm gonna die! Holy crud. That almost died. That was. <laughs> I saw him chasing you. Yeah, please stay safe. I'm so scared for my life right now. These guys keep coming out of nowhere. Like, I think I'm safe, and then they just drop down out of nowhere. For the dude server! Oh, I'm gonna die. Oh, I'm gonna die. What are oh, those guys on fire? Oh my gosh, I'm gonna die. Oh, those are called Blaze. I'm ready. Okay, come on. Come this way. Oh man, okay, we made it. We made it. Oh my gosh. We're looking for a nether wart. It's like this little red plant that you can find in nether fortresses. Hey, there's a chest. Oh, there's some obsidian. Oh, there's nether wart in the chest and there's a gold horse armor. Oh, nice. Yeah, you can have the gold horse armor. And then if we come down here, Oh, so this is this is what I was looking for. These little areas where you get the uh, nether wart. And oh, then you really? Can also, yeah, and then you can also pick up the uh, soul sand that's in here. Oh, I see him. Oh, I got him, and I got the blaze rod. Okay, we have two, we can dip now. Honestly, don't know where we came from. All right, stay with me, stay close. Oh my gosh, dad, there's, here, come on. Oh, wait, wait we came from this way. Let's go back down this. Nice. Oh man, we're pros now. Okay, let's just. Oh no 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 no! no. Stay stay back stay back stay back. Dad, stay in here. Oh, okay, we got him. We're good. Oh good. my gosh, dude, the Nether is so scary. I think we're done here. We got some goods. We got some blaze rods. We got Nether wart. We got some soul sand. I think that's all we really need for now for the next progression of the game. We're gonna have to come back to the to the nether a little bit later. But this place is dangerous. We definitely need better armor. So dad, let's go ahead and make the trek back and get back home. Sounds good. Oh, home sweet home. We made it back. Oh my gosh, that was so gnarly. That was very gnarly. I never want to go back again, but sadly we're gonna have to go back in the future. I think we need just need better gear and some enchantments on our gear. So uh, I think that's what we should do in the next few episodes here so that we can take on the nether and it'll be a little bit easier. Woohoo, home sweet home. Home sweet home. I hope you guys enjoyed this one. I hope you learned a lot. Thank you so much for watching and we'll see you in the next one. Dad out. Bye-bye.